Oh, this looks yummy. That's dandelion root tea with frothed milk, cinnamon, and then rose petals on and top. And this? Turmeric tea with cinnamon and a cinnamon stick, ginger root, and ashwagandha, and then matcha green tea. Are you on? Yeah. Coffee with me. Coffee, 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 coffee with me. Coffee, coffee with me. You're not on camera. They can just hear your voice. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin. For those of you that are new, and if you're not, welcome back. Thank you so much for being here, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. So today I wanted to share with you three different recipes that I've been dabbling with over the last, I would say, three weeks that I've been cutting coffee from my everyday. I just found that I was like hitting coffee way, way, way too hard. I was probably having like three or four cups a day and it was just like not making my stomach feel good. It wasn't even giving me the shakes, but it just was like too much. So I did a hard, hard stop. First two days, I'll be totally honest, I was experiencing some headaches. I feel really great not having coffee and it's been really nice experimenting with different um, recipes. So if you're interested in making these three different bevies with me, then just keep watching. Okay, so we're going to start with the matcha green tea. I found that I had this matcha green tea powder in the pantry that literally would just sit there unless I use like the tiniest little bit in my smoothies because it is pretty bitter. So this has been an awesome way to use up something that I just had kind of posted in the pantry. It's the matcha green tea powder and then the sweetener that I use is 100% pure maple syrup because like I said, this powder in and of itself is super, super bitter. So what I would say, ooh, put the water and the milk in first. I would say that was like maybe a little bit more than a third of the mason jar of itself. Then with the bowl. So then I'll take a teaspoon of the matcha green tea powder. Maybe just like a little bit more. A teaspoon and maybe a quarter of a teaspoon. And with the water, for today, I'm using an organic soy milk that's unsweetened from Trader Joe's. By the way, this is $1.79 in the ingredient list. Water and whole organic soybeans, that's it. So I'm going to do the next third with the milk. Milk. Once that's mixed up to get this really pretty kind of like sagey green color. Then I'll grab the maple syrup with that same teaspoon. I do a whole teaspoon of maple. Yeah. Mix them together. Conrad, I see that you're calling me right now. I'm just busy. I'm not ignoring you. I did try to do the matcha green tea on the stove a couple of times, but I like it and enjoy it a lot more when it's over ice as opposed to hot. Don't be bashful with the stirring. <laughs> Because not for nothing, if you don't really, really stir it, you get these little like kind of like clumps and it's very bitter. Learn from my mistakes. Pretty good to me. So I'm gonna add ice. Whoops, until the cup is filled to the top. Wow, that was a, let's just, let's just take, oh, we're professional in this department. So over, fill that just a little bit. My kitchen, my rules. <laughs> Get the ice cube off of the floor. So matcha green tea is literally through the roof with your antioxidant content. And in terms of caffeine, a serving of this is half the amount of caffeine of say a cup of black coffee. So you're still getting caffeine just with a lot of additional health benefits. I'm sure there's like a bucket ton more of benefits to drinking matcha, but that's what I can authentically share with you as far as what I know. It's like the green tea leaves, they get dried out and then they are ground up really fine and that's how they end up with this powder. And no joke, I when I started making these, this jar was full. So I've made this quite a bit and I find that with the half water and half milk, it's super good, a little bit of sweetener, and I'm totally happy with this. So this is really nice for iced, it's really fast. That's one. Okay, so for the turmeric tea, we're going to move over to the stove. This is going to be a hot beverage. I like to use this cup as my measurement because this is just what I take with me in the morning. I start with this guy. I'll grab the same. I'm just using this soy milk from Trader Joe's, but whatever your milk preference is. Oh, once that's relatively full, spill that a little bit. And then turn on the flame. I just go super low, this way I know that I'm not burning anything and that I have my time to add in all of my other ingredients. Okay, so we'll do one teaspoon of turmeric. This is gonna be tricky, so 
just bear with me. Oh, right in the pot, that's fine. There's very little left on the bottom, so we're just gonna tap that all out. A couple shakes of cinnamon, crack of black pepper, probably a couple. Without the black pepper, your body won't absorb the turmeric. And ginger, and I'm just using a powdered ginger. Same amount of the turmeric, so I'm going in with a teaspoon of the ginger root. Then, with an adorable little whisk. Then until that starts to bubble slightly, good to go. Okay, so now the wild card in this particular recipe, ashwagandha, and this stuff is like your I learned today actually listening to a podcast that ashwagandha is an adaptogen. So depending on where your energy levels are, say like you're super buzzy, super high energy, this will regulate, bring you back down. On the other side of that token, if you're super low energy, this will uplift you. So it adapts to whatever your body needs, which is super incredible. Again, that authentically is what I know about ashwagandha, but I put it in here because I know there's a number of health benefits. So I'm going in with a quarter teaspoon. And it's a really pretty color too, the turmeric latte. Now, unlike the matcha green tea that we just made, this particular drink, I mean, as far as I know, it doesn't have any caffeine in it. So if you are looking to cut caffeine, this is a great alternative. And the anti-inflammatory of turmeric is like, holy smokes, it's so, so good for you. So this is just great to integrate into daily life. I've also read some things that um, this is great before you go to bed. I think it might help you fall asleep. Don't hold me accountable to that again, but I feel like I've read that somewhere. They talk about drinking this golden milk before you go to bed, so who knows? Maybe it can help you sleep better. And this looks like it's warmed up, so I'm gonna pour this into my little cup. And cheers. Third and final of our coffee alternatives, it's a dandelion tea. It's organic, dandy blend, instant herbal beverage with dandelion. So this is also caffeine free, just like I had with the turmeric latte. No acidity, no bitterness. What can I tell you about this? Full disclosure on the package itself. I'm like, where are the health benefits? Because I know there's a number of things, which is why I ultimately ordered this. I literally typed in, what are the health benefits of dandelion tea? Here we go. One, eases bloating. Two, lower blood sugar and type two diabetes. Three, detoxes the liver. Four, dandelion tea for cancer. Five, aids in digestion. Six, reduce frequency of urinary tract infections. Seven, assist internal organs. Hi, that was a lot of great things in one little beverage. I mean, why wouldn't we be integrating this, okay? So here's our third and final option. You can do it hot or cold. I'm gonna say cold. Let's just go cold. So we're back with our handy little teaspoon. And again, it's one level teaspoon. It's like a rich chocolate powder. Oops, I spilled some. So I actually did half of the cup filled with water. I'm going to do the other half with milk. Oh, 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 okay. Just splashing everywhere, that's fine. I am going to add in cinnamon again. Just to be fancy with the dandelion tea, I'm going to froth some milk to pour on top, and then we're going to add a little bit of rose petal on top of that. This is more like a weekend experience. This is not like when you're pressed for time during the week. But hey, if you have the time during the week before your day starts, Brought that milk and get those rose petals. So I have this little handy tool. This came with our coffee maker. I'll pour in, this is really great, literally. So easy. And I like this way better than an actual like electrical hand mixer. I find that this froths it way better. And once the milk is good to go, frothed, it's literally coming out of the edge, pour over top. a little bit on the counter for good measure. I have these little rose petals that I have from the health food store. And then over the half. So that's more the fancy, the aesthetic. It's nice when you're drinking it because then you smell it. And that's that. I should tell you, for taste wise, it actually does kind of like taste like a watered down coffee. It's like, if you enjoy black coffee, I think you would really like the dandelion root. If you don't like black coffee, like you like sweeter drinks, this would probably more so be your jam. 
but you probably want even more sweetener. So let's be honest, as I'm literally just like, hmm. And yes, you can eat the rose petals. If you really go in like that, yes, you can eat them. Grandma really likes the dandelion root one. With the turmeric tea latte, this place called the Sugar Beet, that's in my area, it's a food co-op, they make something similar to this called a healing latte if you really want to bump it up. But I was just trying to keep it simple for the sake of the video. If you want to bump it up, sometimes I do add in bee pollen. And then I will add in a sweetener. Sugar Beet, that place that I mentioned, they add honey into their healing latte. And then I've done some research on that where when you add honey into hot things, however that processes the honey, it does something funky that your body doesn't necessarily know how to digest. Again, don't quote me on that, but I don't particularly like adding honey into my hot beverages. So if you wanted sweetener, you could do some kind of sticky sweetener like your maple syrup, agave nectar or brown rice syrup, something of that nature. I do have date syrup. So just for the sake of, let me see how this goes. Another teaspoon by the date lady, California date syrup. It's literally just dates. Drizzle that in there. Give that a little zhuzh around. Because it is very spicy. I mean, it is kind of reminiscent to me of a chai tea. So if you like that kind of like rich, not hot spicy, but it's, it's rich in spice, it's rich in flavor. But if you're a sweet kind of guy or gal, you'll want some kind of sticky sweetener in there to cut it. With stevia, I have a little dropper. And to me, it just tastes like a diet, like it doesn't taste good. Ooh, that's quite nice. watching at the tail end. Do you want to come say hi? Mm. She's not ready. You can say why don't you want to come on camera? She's not dressed. I mean she's dressed but she has <laughs> <laughs> She's dressed. She's just like in her house coat. Yes. Right? If you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up <laughs> and subscribe to my channel. I was really excited to share this video with you because these three drinks have been really really helpful over the last three weeks of no coffee. So if you try them, I hope you like them. And I think that's all that I have for you today. Be kind to yourself and be kind to others and I will see you all soon. Bye. Whenever I'm about to shut the camera off, I'm then like, oh, is there anything else that I wanted to say? This lighting though is the one. I literally bought this lighting, yes, because my dearest Kevin was like, get lighting, get lighting. He was totally right. <laughs> but now that I have it, I fully want to film makeup videos because that's what made me fall in love with YouTube years ago. And now that I have this lighting, I'm like, <sighs> I'm super stoked about it. Oh my. I'm not on camera now. You're not on camera. No, the, 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 the thing ends right here. Oh my goodness. I know. You're all set to go, my little girl. Mm -hmm. Which tastes the best? Well, I think it really depends on your mood. I'll clean if you want to just go back in the living room. You're just because, yeah. Okay, I will do that. She's chasing me out again. I'm only chasing you out because it's going to make me anxious while I try to clean up. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay, man. No problem. Yeah. We're not screwing around here. Also, coffee. Coffee tea with me? Coffee with me? Like C O F F or C O U G H? I don't know. You decide. You're the creative. Do it. Mm. Okay, well, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna clean up this atrocious mess that's in the kitchen right now. Cool. So hip, but also so out of place. Lacey, get out of the pantry. <laughs> Almost broke that. We're going to move over to the stove so that stove. <laughs> what just happened? No, no, no. So it's so warm in here right now. Graham doesn't have the air on, and it's a little bit, a little bit humid outside. Mm -hmm. If you have the week, if you have the week. She's gonna win some money. I think that's all that I have for you today. Is that all that I wanted to share? 